So powerful vulnerability to me is this kind of umbrella for so many kinds of moods and uh, modes of the mind and, and states I was in, we were in throughout the last years as societies, but also as individuals uh, going through these feelings of dependency, isolation, happiness, sadness, uh, I also had a big love grief and all of these things that were happening were so well summed up in the in the state of being vulnerable. Yeah, you have to let go and not think about the doing, just do. And that's pretty difficult, but also something that is happening when you do music. It's some kind of meditation. especially that it's worth it to share and that it's really beautiful to just let let it happen what, what you feel but also um, write an album on it give it a, a space and and a worthiness to it like a value even though it's not the brightest emotions um, and through that came a happiness it was a kind of transformative healing process for me to just play on around these these feelings and and these happenings and yeah it was really a an empowering experience it really fit to the time of the last years where there was so much isolating and social distancing and at the same time uh, super even more precious nearness with the people I was with and I just let it all be uh, and in the pieces I really enjoy to you know not to filter anything not to shape anything and just experience and express what I felt and also what was happening around me Sometimes I just think we are just a big chaotic mess. We are weird, we are strange. Yeah, we're messy, chaotic, crazy. And then when I think of our vulnerability, I find that quite beautiful and just good the way it is. So I think this showing yourself vulnerable is for me really a tool that I can use to accept the way I am weird and strange and, and crazy in a very healthy way. Our tree can stay.
the moment in the in the studio when we arrived with the trio and we were ready to play and sound was checked and everybody was there and excited and healthy. That was just beautiful and exciting and kind of the core yeah, of this whole project, the recording. And it's crazy that you record something for eternity, but in the end, it's just another chaotic moment and a moment in life. And it's beautiful to just take it for what it is. And then after it, it's something else anyways. In this piece, we start very tenderly and with a fragile mode and then uh, organically it grows and grows and grows and grows. And um, from the tenderness and fragility, it becomes something pretty strong. In general, I feel almost like every year, like shaving a skin, like the surface skin off of me, of my body, of my soul, my spirit, or something like that. And I think the music is part of that. It's a constant renewing transformation process that takes place in all areas of my life.